Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. My name is Nilaus and this is the Dark Fog Rising. And um, well, sun is rising over our new uh, planetary polar hub. This is uh, something I'm always building now and it's uh, gradually evolving. We only have red and blue science at this moment. But what we're going to be working on today is going into planetary. That means getting yellow science, getting all the stuff we need for yellow science, graphene, titanium alloy, pink containers, and uh, a nice power plant so we can get some planetary logistics and interplanetary logistics as well and then see how the dark fog is responding to our uh, changes so what we're going to do first is fly back to uh, here so we'll just uh, sort of sort of in the previous episode we didn't really do a lot of, uh, of sort of um, construction things so i think this one will will be better at working on the construction so in order for us once we have uh, let's see here we have basically all the red and blue signs done, nothing uh, really outstanding, and therefore it's a, it's for us to now move up to yellow science. And uh, well, let's have a look at what we need. Uh, actually, I think it's easy to look at it here. Like what we really want is obviously this one. Yes, I've done. I've unlocked it. I unlocked it with uh, uh, with some metadata from a previous run, but you don't really need it. I just wanted to have it here. So what we need is pink containers, titanium alloy, and over here we also need um, nothing else processes we got that from another planet and titanium we also got that from the lava planet so that is fine so we need to make the high high uh, high strength titanium alloy that means sulfuric acid that's awful uh, we also need graphene why do we need graphene that's a good question now you need graphene for uh where is it high speed assembling this one and what was the other thing isn't it also another thing that needs was there another thing that needed it? No, not not uh, not really. So that's um, that's basically the graphene. Let's see. I I feel that there was something else graphene was needed for. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's also needed for eventually for solar sails. But yeah. Ah, there we go. The blue belts. Ah, right, right, right. I thought there was something. We're not gonna make blue belts just yet. We're gonna suffice with uh, green assemblers and green belts for a while. So the first thing we want to do is, of course, make some graphene because that also gives us some sulfuric acid. Luckily, I have my blueprint library. I'm cleaning up a little bit uh, as we go along. I have now a new category called dark fog. So if you're, if you're looking for something specifically for dark fog, uh, then I have it here. And I also just have some random stuff down here. Like, for example, a build that uh, I'm going to be stepping down now. Uh, let's see. I think this is probably a good location to have it. Yeah, let's stamp it down. One up. There. Oh, we did not have everything. Oh, chemical plants. Why no chemical plants? Oh, well, that's uh, something we can get. So I'm currently not using proliferation for my builds because I could and I probably should. Um, but I haven't really been bothering to build proliferation. We're going to be throwing it into some things. Um, but at this point, because then I'd also have to do it between the intermediate steps and I don't really bother with that right now. So uh, we're just gonna have to make do with as it is and I'm gonna get some oil that we've been collecting here in advance and I'll also be taking that one to get some water in. And now we have all the things inbound uh, that we need. We have oil, we have water, we have uh, graphite. And once we have that, we go into here to this power plant this will make the oil into light oil and into hydrogen. Hydrogen goes back. We are going to use that for power later on. Let me make sure that we get these uh, sorted here. So we don't have sort of glyphs in line as uh, anything closer than that uh, this one can make. So I can walk away and uh, explain how it works. And then uh, the light oil becomes uh, goes in here and becomes to it becomes sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid it needs some stone. So we ha luckily have a little bit of stone coming over here. And let's see, can I go walk around it? Yeah, let's just walk around it. There we go. And we get the stone inbound and then we can make, take the sulfuric acid and combine it with graphite. And then we get some, um, some graphene. Great. And we also just put a little bit of box basically saying that when the sulfuric acid passes on beyond this point, then it goes over here and goes into that box. So it's available for later on if we need it. There we go. Everything is hooked up. And why is it always nighttime when I play this game? It's so weird. So weird how it's always nighttime. You'd think that it'll be uh, daytime somewhat half the time, but alas, that is not the case. There, nice little uh, graphene build. Let's move on to the next one, titanium alloy. Let's make that up here because that's a good place to build it. 
Now these builds are not going to be impressive in any way and I highly recommend not really using them for uh, as a baseline for oh my god that's so brilliant let's do that nope nope don't do that uh, just this is just a, honestly just a little bit of a hack here to get the ball rolling on the, on getting these things so what is it I actually want I want to get uh, titanium steel and ferric acid ferric acid comes in and we are going to take and we're just going to get everything else in with boxes. So that is a box inbound. And we'll also get another box inbound on that line. Good. And this is the usual way for us to do these things these days. And this will be maybe steel. And this will maybe be titanium. Sure. And then I'll have out here we'll have our sulfuric acid inbound. And out here we'll have the outbound that will go also into a box make that box here and of course they will be all have fidget spinners or hats and then fidget spinners on on here and then it's basically pretty easy to build here this is uh, inbound and inbound and inbound and outbound good and then so this is for me I need to rush to get uh, planetary logistics and inter interplanetary logistics because only when I have that does the real game begin in my opinion uh, that is, that's such a big game changer for, uh, for how to, how to play the game. So I just want that going, and then once we have that going, well, sure we can, uh, we can come back and fix some things and make them nicer. That's kind of how I'm always, uh, always looking at it. Okay, so this is going to be inbound here and grab. What are we gonna get? We're gonna get uh, steel. Same on this one. Just let's take two tiles here, and this will be. Uh, titanium but it's going to be request up and there we go that one's also requesting and I also need something out here that will be the titanium alloy so we now have that available and that will be also provided to me and there we go and how much do we want yes like that cool and it should work if this one gets built and we are making we're not really making anything. Why are we not making anything? What is work? What is not working? The stone? How's the stone? Oh no! I mixed it up. That's lovely. These two are supposed to be the other way around. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Well, uh, cutting corners. That's what happens. There we go. Much nicer. There we go. This is now working, and we should soon get a little bit of sulfuric acid passing through. That'll only happen once we saturate this belt. But we can uh, proceed up here and build the next one. After this, well, we're just going to make uh, the pink containers. And we have a little a few of these uh, it's pre crafted. There we go. So again, this is graphite and green turbines and copper. So I guess I can do kind of the same as I did uh, previously, which is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to make this super simple uh, because, again, I don't want to uh, to spend time on on uh, on this right now. And therefore, we go box, 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 box. Sounds like uh, F1. That's inbound, and that is inbound. And yes, this probably should be proliferated, but this is uh, the ultimate. The thing is, if I start proliferating this, then I'm also starting to do the next thing, and the next thing, and the next thing. And then I am not really, uh, then I end up building something good. I have to build something really poor so that I can, I know that I'm gonna come back and fix it because it's so bad. And I'm just gonna make one per minute of this. That's it. Right, these ones are also going to be set up for requests. And we also need a box over here. This one, let's see if let's see if we can guess it. No, not yet. And that will be pink containers. And distribute to anyone who wants them. And the box will be full. Good. So now we have titanium alloy. We have pink containers in a little while. Why is this one not coming in? Oh, you are. You are coming in. You're just a little bit slow. It'll, it'll be here. Here they, here they go. All right, so I get... Um, Pink containers, I got that. That means we now have everything we want. The timer is now for us to expand that to, or put that on our bus. So let's expand the bus and that needs to be expanded quite a lot. Now that we have this, we can also start working on 
uh, since we have graphene, we can work on just having a steady supply of these assembly machines. These are some I've, I've handcrafted just to get started, but we definitely need to scale it up from here. Well, actually, I just thought about uh, the fact that the bus update is going to take a long time. And then uh, I really want to, instead of doing the bus update first, then I want to just make a few a few of these uh, planetary logistics locations here. And uh, once we have that, well, we can build the yellow signs because then the yellow signs can just trickle along as I build the bus upgrade because it's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to be super awesome and amazing, I hope. So we start by doing this. Then I'm going to do old science blueprints. Still works. There is here with proliferators, but uh, that one requires that you have sort of already stuff available in the logistic network, which I don't. So I'm going to take the old school one here. Um, old school one. Uh, this one, I think I'll do it. Mm, yeah, let's do it here. That one. This is the first half of building. Uh, the, uh, what is it called? The organic crystals, they are the awful part of this part. Uh, the actual yellow signs is easy. As if you have the, have this. Oh, what are we missing? Really? Oh, right. They think you have blue inserters. We don't. We don't have blue inserters. Um... We maybe we should no we don't and let's see so that's not uh, actually I don't want it this inbound here because if we look at it and if we look at this one uh, let's get it this one is water coming in don't care and organic crystals come in don't care so I'm gonna take this out because I'll just go straight into the next one which will be here and here and that's the yellow matrix uh, let's see that will be have to be this way and then that can be built somewhat the same place and I want to build it a little bit away from the water because I'm gonna to need to get some water pumps in so let's build it somewhat like hmm do I even need this let me just see what it needs uh, titanium yeah I don't have titanium on this one yet because I don't have anything here and I don't have this and I don't have that so um, I think we'll just uh, kill that one as well and then get it in in different ways and then Let's patch up these lines once we figure out how that's going to work. And I don't have this one either. I mean, I'd like to, but uh, that's not really going to happen. We're just putting it into a little box for now. Here, and get into a little box. And that'll be fine, and it will work from here. Alright, let's get this uh, working, and then we can figure out where each of the lines are going to work. So now the build has been constructed and we can then go on and hook things up. We are going to take our pre-prepared graphite in here and our pre-prepared oil getting it in here. And that will be serving as a little bit of a buffer here just for a rainy day fund. And it'll pass through, get in here and then go convert it into light oil. That's going to be a lot here. This is all 12 uh, converted per second and continuing in here. It comes in, the graphite comes in and uh, goes into the plastic build. Together with the light oil, we have whew, an awful lot of that. So this is the light oil production, or the plastic production, which takes all the 12 light oil, uh, light oil we're making. And then we go in here and make the, um, yeah, the organic crystals, which require plastic, and then the remaining part of the light oil. So that takes a little bit of time, and then it goes in here. I'm going to put a little buffer on this belt. Water comes in. We have a convenient water placement here. Uh, this one will just stack up with water for a rainy day, or if you have collected some by chopping trees, then that's also an option. Uh, this one is going to request titanium inbound. That's actually going to be a little bit of a challenge because uh, this won't be able to get enough titanium in uh, fast enough uh, to keep this going. So we'll need to sort of ha hand feed a little bit or move it into some uh, uh, to something else or um, plans or logistics once that's done. Then, when we finally have some titanium in, we should see this coming in. Let's just hand feed a little bit of titanium to start with. There we go. That's 2,500 titanium to uh, feed it, and then the rest will just come in slowly. But it's easy to grab it from uh, the other location, since we can always grab for those hats uh, whenever we want. And there we go. That's also going to be available. Oh, I, I just dislike the fact that it's... Oh, look at that. We have uh, issues with power. That's not a big surprise. There's always going to be bit issues with power. That's uh, kind of as kind of not really a surprise in any of my playthroughs. But whatever, we'll uh, we'll fix that with a gigantic power plant. We just can't do it right now. 
There we go. We got the first yellow signs. Yay! So let's drag it up here uh, to our belt. I think we've almost prepared it uh, correctly. Let's see. Ah, kind of okay. Just somewhat in the neighborhood. And then we can send it up to our our new or our planetary hub here that's already available. And it is working. It's, it's re ready to work. Oh, man. Oh, look at all these kinks. Oof. No kink shaming, but still. Eesh. There. Right, so we got yellow signs. Awesome. Now it's time to get the bus working. With yellow signs unlocked, it's also time for us to start making these orbital collectors so we can get some hydrogen and fire ice from our big giant. And I was really happy just to uh, to show you these cool things that we are uh, working on. Uh, and then uh, look at the top left hand corner. That is uh, a little bit of a uh, problem, isn't it? I just have one excess uh, uh, built here so I am going to do, drop that and then I am going to uh, I'm going to panic uh, because what else is there to do except panic uh, you can always have time to panic so I need to go to uh, figure out what the hell we're we gonna do about this one and I know that the problem is that I have some uh, misconfigured I'm just gonna let, let the last drones come in here otherwise they're gonna be stuck on this planet and I got all nine drones all right the issue here is that um, I have a misconfiguration because I was testing testing something here on the, the lava planet Glomin Ranged. Uh, testing something and uh, the problem is that it's now shooting down the relay stations. So if there is another relay station coming in here, let's have a look. If the, That's a relay station, but if there's another one that's coming in, then it's going to be a problem. A big problem. So we need to head here fast and uh, set up defenses and uh, dislodge them before and then get ready for a massive attack coming from the space hive. We are playing on Rampage, some, so they are going to be super aggressive. All right, here we are. And we have that one, but I'm not going to set that up just yet. I am going to find, and this is the easy way, you go to the copy paste module here. Look at that. We've actually started building something cool that I wanted to show you, but not right now. Not right now. We have other things to do. Uh, I want to set up some panic uh, turret here. Oh my god, there's three now. There's three? That's crazy. It was one when I landed and then it just dropped two more. Whoa. Or maybe those are just like idle ones. I don't know. Um, what I definitely need to do is set up a stupid amount of additional turrets. Uh, why? Because turrets are amazing. How many is that? That's 15? Sure. Can I get another row of that? Uh, sure. Another row of 15. Sure. Oh, they're misplaced. Misplaced. Can't have them misplaced. And let me actually get a little... That one. Is this corresponding? I think it is. Yep. And then we put some power balls in here. And then we get, oh, that seems wrong. Ah, oh, man, this one should, this is a little bit of a panic thing. So uh, don't you worry. Okay, and I will be getting a splitter. Yeah. And then we get a belt. Oh. Any time, at any second, they can decide to attack. Turrets. And get that all the way down. Here, and here, and then also get a builder, there. All right, so that should help on getting this one built. And I also want to make sure that I have one of these here, just so that I am able to protect the, this area. All right, so once we have that, it's, oh, wow. Oh, no, 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 this is not, no, this is not. Yeah, this is what I meant by misconfigured. Well, they are shooting at the relay stations. They really shouldn't be shooting at the relay stations. Um, so, I guess we have incoming. 20 vessels incoming. Yep, let's... Okay, there we go. <laughs> ah, that's lovely. Please let them come here. I hope they're coming. They should be coming here. All right. Well, how about just shooting those, please? Oh, they're, because they're not really in, a, in range of this. Oh, wow, that's not good.
Is this powered? It's not powered. And uh, there. That one. Let's go back and get that powered. Okay, we're a little bit in panic. A little bit panic mode. Get those done. Alright, let's see. Where's the incoming? Uh, they're coming in hot. They are coming in hot. And let's have a look. Okay, they're also attacking from this location. Well, you know, that's just let's just solve that problem once and for all. Hmm. Why are we not attacking? Oh, because that's why we're not attacking. Oh, wow. Get up there. That is uh, Star Wars. Uh, but they are probably destroying... Yeah, there are a thousand things destroyed. Yep. Uh, they're going to be really nasty with all of these inbound. I don't want to get near nearby. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at those lasers. We need a planetary shield. Uh, a little bit late for the planetary shields, but before next time, we're definitely going to have planetary shields protecting us. Oh, and there's more over here. I mean, there's no doubt that we can easily protect it, or we can easily kill them, but we are not really... Um, we're not we're not doing it without taking a significant amount of damage. Let's uh, make sure that we remove these from our planet, please. So here's a an, another thing, or my findings about this, is that stuff like this one, as long as it's nearby, then it'll be taken out automatically. Like, that one is weird. Why is that one not uh, taken out? Uh, that's, that's so far away from everything. So I, so this is the problem. Like, if it drops outside of a range of any of our signal towers, then it will be building up and then it'll be available for, uh, for attacks or it'll be starting to attack us. Um, that one as well is also far away from anything, so let's uh, let's make sure that we go. Yeah, um, but we want to set these towers up here. That one, but you can't. Well, I wouldn't recommend just uh, spamming these all over the place in a haphazard manner because there will still be gaps uh, here and there. And close that one and get to the next one, and then we can. Oh, hold on. Build it, damn you. Why is it not being built? Oh, because they're probably working on some of those over there. And let me get to... Where's the next one? It is here. Forgot to shift click. This one just needs to be closed. Here. It needs to be closed. And that one is... Oh, it's closed, but it was also destroyed something on top. But again... This is a this is placed here, so it's part of our range. Oh, there's actually someone attacking something, right? Looks like it. Uh, that one units remain where? It felt like someone was attacking something. Oh, there we go. There's a unit remaining here. See, this is a, another problem, and there we go. So now that the units are remaining, and yeah, there's a lot of cleanup here. This one needs another box here. And we just have one remaining. And that is located... Oh. Hello. And this is also pretty far away from everything. So this one is building an actual base. And we did shoot down the relay station. Also kind of important. Let's make sure that we actually... Uh, um, actually make, make sure that we don't shoot at the orbital bases. Because the relay station because that's a little bit dangerous and we'll just get that here but it's not powered it needs to get connection to the rest of the network and it's getting that now there and we can then get closed off cool cool so now back to repair <laughs> that is uh, a lot of stuff that needs repairing uh, let's let's see how bad it is Let's have a look at the damage from 20 incoming ships on Rampage. Uh, we definitely need a planter shield. Let's agree to that, all of us. So this is repair, it seems. This is stuff that's broken, uh, destroyed. And this is stuff that's destroyed but does not have any, uh, any powerful. So what I could do is I can just do this. 
And I can also do these things here. Just put a little bit of this in here, then it'll... It should... Well, it doesn't because it's not powered yet. So, I need to... Ugh. I need to make sure that it's first of all powered. There. When it's powered, this one's powered. Then these will start working on, on helping reconstruct it. And then for me, it's just flying around like an idiot here, uh, repairing this, and then thinking about the error of our ways for not having a planetary shield. So that's something we'll probably do in the next episode. But today, I promised to finish the bus. Now that the attacks are done and the repairs have been completed, it is time for us to uh, come back to our beautiful... Uh, is bus main bus i think it's good it's not really a starter base anymore it's now a main bus and look at this awful awesomeness uh so what is this well this is a fully fledged uh, bus that i have uh, decided to build i've got everything up there up to uh, mark ii assemblers and mark ii belts i have proliferated every single input i got everything coming in either with belts or from uh, interstellar logistics stations from other planet uh, the other planet lava planet or it's uh, coming in just from local uh, local builds here on the planet and just trying to keep up some things can't keep up pink containers surprise surprise i've also set a little warning here that says if there's nothing going on for 30 seconds throw a warning because then something is not just uh, slow uh, like these are for example slow but there is something on a 30 second but if it stops for 30 seconds then it's probably because something has stopped uh, in the supply of this something has run out in one way or the other and uh, then we know that and then we can just uh, cruise along i have added a few more things as i said last time we had up to processors then i've added engines motors turbines uh, magnetic rings pink containers uh, photon combiners titanium alloy and graphene all of those are now here and that also means the stuff that was previously like the water pumps somewhere the elusive water pumps they were previously getting a little bit in from uh, with fidget spinners they're now getting the electric motors from the bus so that's pretty neat and then we can go down here. This has enabled me to make a lot more advanced stuff on the bus, for example. Now this is getting all the stuff from the bus because photon combiners and uh, uh, super magnetic rings are on the bus. We can make, ooh, Corvettes. Mm. Oh, called attack drones. They're called attack drones. We'll, we'll suffice with attack drones. They're pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, we need to kill all of these first. That's a little bit of a shame. Uh, take all these out. Let's get some attack drones in here. They, they seem, they, they're probably better. And we'll reconfigure to attack drones. And I don't know what I'm going to use these for. They're gone now. Oh, don't don't even want to. There, they're gone. We don't know how they work. They're going to be awesome. Uh, here, this one, there will, of course, be some things that are not on the bus. Like, I'm not putting these on the bus. I'm not putting uh, this on the bus. So we'll just have to request those in as we need it. Titanium is only used for one thing. That's really surprising. But, hey, we'll get it here. What are we getting in here? Oh, that's the uh, f full accumulators. Don't really have those, but um, we'll just have to get the make them when we need it. And then or even the ships are built here. And then we can go in. Oh, see, this is the problem. This is the problem that we have to deal with next time. I want to get into a position where we never, ever have to uh, worry about this. Oh, let's have a look at these attack drones. How good are they? Pew, 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 pew. Oh, they shoot. Of course, they shoot missiles. That makes everything much nicer. So this is the problem. I was working on the bus, and in the meantime, these stupid, annoying uh, ones are coming in and uh, expanding. We want to be in a position where we never have to worry about this, that they cannot land on a planet without them being inside a signal tower range, and therefore we can actually work. Because if this happens while I'm in a different system, it'll take 15 minutes to come back, and then by the time I'm back, then they will have done the same thing in uh, another location. So we're going to wrap this up here uh, with a beautiful main bus build and yellow science unlocked. And also we saw a massive attack come in and they're already sort of uh, gearing up for the next attack eventually. That's how it is on Rampage. And uh, it's it's not a problem as long as we can suppress them as before they land. Uh, I know you can set up farms to farm materials, but it's not really my kind of thing. Um, maybe we'll do it just for the hell of it. We'll see. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you will uh, join me on Twitch. I'm streaming a Dyson Sphere program tonight on Twitch at 8 p.m. Central Euro European time on Twitch TV slash Neos. I hope that you are going to follow this series, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And then thank you all to the patrons who are supporting the channel. And uh, that's a great way to get access to all my blueprints if you want to get this awesome thing here or copy this into your own build. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care and stay effective.